Hey, good morning everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. It is time for a new melting basket. I actually got through everything except a couple of things which I will show you. I got through everything in last melting basket. Um, I'm trying just to get through what I put in there with the exception of the bags. Um, like the little onesies, twosies, I wanna get through them. Um, and my stash is looking good, I'm very comfortable with it. Now it's getting even better all the time. So anyway, let's get into the new basket. So I pulled out some bags of candles that I need to get through. Uh, strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works. I think this was last year's candle. I didn't buy it this year, so I'm pretty sure it is. And I think I had two of those. I burned one, the burn sucked, so I chopped the second one, if I recall correctly. Uh, blueberry sugar from Bath and Body Works. I don't even know how old this is. Maybe last fall, possibly. Somebody else out there might know because I don't. Uh, white barn mango coconut. This also is a couple years old, so I need to get through that. A candle that I, uh, Bath and Body Works candle I made tarts from in red lava citrus. I love this. If you like grapefruit scents, you definitely need to get this one for sure. And then from uh, Rainbow Melts, I pulled out Plum, Gel Plum Delicious, which is juicy plums, toasted marshmallow, and sweet coconut. The J is for Johanna Allen because we went split C's on customs, and that's the one that she picked. And Rye, sorry, Rain or Shine from January, Sweet Rain and Lemon Sunshine. This is really good. You will notice that it's not very seasonal. It's just what I happened to pull out, what sounded good to me in my nose at the time. I'm not really a seasonal melter, especially, but it, with the exception of fall and winter. In fall and winter, I usually stick to fall and winter. In spring, summer, I usually melt fall, winter. <laughs> well, I don't, but I do mix it up because that I really prefer fall, winter than spring, summer. But anyway, moving on. Okay, some Scentsy. So this is the one of the ones that I did not finish from the last basket, and I will finish this month, is Coastal Strawberry. I pulled out Lemon Sorbet, which is a really good one if you like lemon scents. I pulled out Winterberry Apple Tea. And I'm thinking I might do a mix with the Lemon Sorbet and the Winterberry Apple Tea for Mix It Monday in my VIP group, which will I will link down below. So every Monday in my group, it's Mix It Monday. So mix anything scentsy, pull out some stuff, mix it, see how it goes. You might make a new creation, I don't know. Be Fabulous. And this was a bring back my bar from way back because the logo is even changed here. It's called My Wish. I forgot to look up the scent notes, but I will when I warm it. Um, oh my gosh, it is so good. It's like, I don't know, plum and marshmallow or something. It's really, really good. And from Better Homes and Gardens, this is my last key lime cheesecake. This also is really, really good. This throws really good in my house. I have heard people say it's not a great thrower for them, but for me it is, so I'm totally happy with it. Uh, from Goose Creek, we have Teakwood Merlot. From um, Super Tarts, Lord of Mordor. And again, I don't know what that refers to. Uh, let's see, um, Glitterati. So I did win the opportunity to purchase a Glitterati mystery box last month, I think it was. So of course I did. I was, I, I was going to say I was, I, I shouldn't have, but I'm glad I did because, you know, it, whatever. It's Glitterati. So Glitterati has changed their labels. And uh, this is the old label. So this was poured in June of 2020, Blueberry Flapjacks and Hansel and Gretel's House. Um, you know, everybody asks, Glitterati, is it all that, is it all that? I mean, it's good, yes, it's, it's a good, it's good. It doesn't suck, it's good. Um, but I wouldn't put it, for me, for me and my nose, I wouldn't put it above, you know, my other favorites, which is Rainbow Melts and Destination Wax and, of course, Scentsy. It's right up there with them. Is it greater than them? To me, no. But it's a good vendor, yes. It's, you know, it is it is what it is. Okay, let me move on. Apple Butter Amish Kitchen Vanilla Buttercream Crunch. I probably just got myself in trouble there, but okay, that's all right. 
Okay, from Destination Wax, I'm trying to get through some older ones because I did put, purchase some new ones. Uh, Orange, Blossom, or, Orange Blossom Bergamot. Lime Margarita. If you like lime scents, whew, this is so authentic. This smells really good. I think it's going to be a good thrower too. Lime Margarita. Uh, this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles from March of 2020. So that's going to go in the mix. Citrus Fizz, Celebration, compared to Lush Celebrate. I'm not familiar with it. And Orange Chiffon Cake, so that's what I pulled from Destination Wax. And then I have some samples here that we will melt as well from Destination Wax, Neroli and Cedar, from Rainbow Melts, Waffle Berry Fluff, which is Vanilla Waffles, Wild Berry Mousse, and Fluffy Marshmallow and Yabba Dabba Doo, which is Fruity Pebbles, Sticky Marshmallows, and Sugar Cookies. So that's what we're gonna be melting for the next couple of weeks. I don't know how long it'll take, but we'll just keep going till it's done. Uh, clearly, I'm not gonna get through all the bags, but I'm gonna make a dent in the bags, but all this stuff here, we're gonna finish. So that's it for the new melting basket, and I do love melting basket videos, so share yours, and hope everybody has a great and safe weekend. I will see you soon, bye.